Hello Shape Enthusiasts, I'm putting together a series of guides to cover advanced crystal techniques. When you start playing on hard or insane difficulty, you're eventually going to get to some tasks where your standard process of building a complex shape layer by layer no longer works. This is due to two limitations of the crystal making process. The first limitation we can see here is when you have a shape with gaps and you put it through a crystal maker, the crystal layer will fill any gaps that are present in the shape. The second and third limitation of crystals comes from their delicate nature. If you ever try to cut a crystal shape, any connected crystal will shatter along with it, as we can see over here. When we look at this shape, we can see the two green crystal pieces are touching, and if I try to cut this shape down the middle, I end up shattering this green crystal, and it'll also in turn shatter this green crystal, as we can see through this half destroyer, when we put this shape through, and we destroy the left half, we end up with no crystals left. Similarly, shapes with crystals don't stack very well. When you try to stack two of these shapes together, we can see as the top shape drops, the crystals on top of it have all shattered, because whenever you drop a shape with crystals on it, any of the crystals in that shape will just shatter and disappear. Now that we understand the limitations, I want you to look at a shape like this one. How would you create this shape? Because you have half a crystal here with nothing on the other side. So how do you even make half a crystal with nothing? Or in this case, three quarters of a crystal with an empty bit of gap. You can't create a full crystal layer and then cut out a quarter because as soon as you try to cut this crystal layer, it's going to shatter. So let's look at an abstracted version of this problem and work through it together and you'll understand how we can create these sorts of shapes. So over here I just have a platform with some shapes and colours going into it and we're going to go work through an example. We're going to use an abstracted version of this shape. It's basically just a full shape with an incomplete crystal layer on top and we're going to work through all the difficulties with building this shape which will give you a comprehensive understanding of how to approach building shapes that have incomplete crystals on them. So the first thing that you're going to need to find is a three-quarter shape. You can either find asteroids with a three-quarter shape or you can just cut a quarter out of a regular shape and create your own three-quarter shape. These three-quarter shapes I'm going to start calling molds or scaffolds because we're going to use this three-quarter shape to shape our crystal layer. Let's see how that works in practice. So first I'm just going to bring some of my colour and my scaffold shape over and then we're going to put it through a crystal maker or a crystal generator. Now if we look at the shape that comes out of here we can see that it is now a quarter of a crystal only. Because this is a quarter crystal we should now be able to cut away the bits of the shape that we don't want. First let's get a half destroy in and cut away the left half of the shape and now we're left with a bit of shape and the quarter of the crystal that we do want. We'll give that a counterclockwise rotation and then we'll give that another half destroy and now we can see we are left with just a quarter of a crystal. You can probably see where I'm going with this. You can do this process three more times or in this case for this example I'm just going to split this belt and now we have three quarter crystals. We can now piece this back together into a single layer. However, if you use stackers, it will get destroyed. So we have to, in fact, use swappers. If you're not familiar with how a swapper works, it basically swaps the left and right half of the shape. So we need to move one of these to the left side and one of them to the right side. So I'm going to give one of these a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, and then we're going to feed it into the swapper. And now we can see as they swap, we have a half crystal layer. We can apply this concept again by moving this crystal to the left hand side, give it a counterclockwise rotation, add another swapper and feed this other one in and suddenly we have our three quarters of a crystal. Now that we have our three quarter crystal you think it's a simple task of just stacking that on top of a full circle but you'll see that doesn't actually work. So if I bring my stacker over here and we feed the circles on the bottom 
and we feed our three quarter crystals on the top. As the crystal drops, it just immediately shatters and we get nothing. So the technique to make this shape, even though you see a full circle on the bottom, is actually to build it up from quarters. So we have to build each quarter separately and then combine it all at the very end. Let's see how that works. So our very bottom layer is going to be a quarter circle and on top of the quarter circle, we're going to need a crystal layer. So you have to create your shape and scaffold together first. If we just put a stacker over here and we drop our scaffold on top of the circle. What comes out of here is basically a scaffold that has a space for the crystal as well as the circle layer underneath. Now we can put this through the crystal maker. And you'll see what comes out of here is basically three quarters of rubbish and one quarter of the shape that we actually need. We only want this bottom right quarter. Then we use the same process we did before to cut away the bits of the shape that we don't need. So we will half destroy it here. Give that a counterclockwise rotation and then half destroy it again. And now we can see what comes out of the other side is just the single quarter bit that we need. Now, of course, you can do this process three more times to get the other three quarters that you want. But uh, I'm just going to, for the sake of this example, split this belt into three. Now we can see we have three quarters of the shape that we want and we just need another quarter. So I'm going to take, it doesn't matter which circle I take, but I'm just going to take one of these circles. We'll half destroy that. Give it a counterclockwise rotate and we'll half destroy it again and now we're left with another quarter circle and here we can see we have all four quarters of the shape that we want we just need to piece it all together so let's give these two a counterclockwise rotation we'll get our swappers out and now we can see we've got two halves of the shape that we want and we just need to put it through another swapper so we'll put one to the left and we'll put one to the right. And now if we feed that through another swapper, we're going to end up with the final shape that we were after. And yes, this is a very painful way to make a shape, especially when you see a full shape conveniently down the bottom. But unfortunately, whenever you see an incomplete crystal layer, this is the only way to make the shape. Now I've shown you the method to build up this shape from quarters because that covers a sort of general solution for any shape that you may want. But if we look at this shape, for example, here, you don't actually have to build this from quarters. You can actually build this from halves. So you can use the same scaffolding technique, except with a, instead of a three quarter shape, you can use a half shape as your scaffold, build up this half shape using your standard crystal making process, cut away the bit you don't want, and then merge it with the other half of the shape. However, when you get to a shape like this and you see a bit that's just a quarter, that pretty much indicates to you that you will have to build this shape up from quarters. But the key takeaway from this video is basically once you get to your advanced shapes, you need to get out of the habit of looking at everything layer by layer and start getting into the habit of looking at everything quarter by quarter. Now this was the first video in a series of videos where we're going to tackle the complex crystal shapes. Next episode we're going to work through how we deal with crystal shapes when there is a gap underneath a crystal. That gets a little bit more tricky and I will go through it in detail with you guys next episode. So if you don't want to miss out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.